What is up guys, Boris here coming to you guys with the second half of the brand new Coliseum events that I just were released today on Japan. Now this time we're going to be looking at the Vista branch. If you want to check out the Poly branch, I have a video uh, that you can check out on my channel as well. I just posted it the same day. So definitely check that out if you're in trouble with the Poly branch. But today we're going to be going over the Vista branch of the Chaos Coliseum. And we're trying to do these without, you know, jamming or whatever. So... This one is pretty tricky, and uh, <laughs> the reason why I use you guys can tell is because he will paralyze your entire team. You guys don't know what paralyzing is. It has a chance, I believe it's like a 30% chance, that your attack won't go through. It's either 30% it won't go through, or 30% it will go through. So, characters like Rayleigh, you know, characters like Gear 3 that depend on, on um, hitting, you know, consecutive hits, or like uh, Long Luffy, don't recommend them. What I did here is I went ahead and brought... Uh, just a pure in team, go ahead and use Rayleigh, the Sunny, uh, we can go ahead and use Luffy, Usopp, and then Robin, and just use, use all your specials, Talonami. I actually forgot to use the uh, Whitey Bay special, which actually would have given me uh, a bigger boost. So make sure to use that. Um, but um, I still managed to beat it pretty easily. Just hope you get lucky, man. As, as you guys saw, I, I think I got screwed over a couple times with my luck. But there we go. That one is down. Just simple double 2.5 captain. Now next up is we got uh, Moria, and now Moria, uh, sorry, what am I saying, <laughs> Hogback. Uh, Hogback, if you remember like just in the Fortnite, he spawns a ton of guys around him and they have really high defense for a couple turns. So the trick here is to wait one turn, and then once you wait that one turn, go ahead and use Golden Pound Usopp, and uh, boom, there, <laughs> there you go. Now, it's not over yet though, it's not over yet. You know, these guys still have high defense, so you know, I sort of messed up a little bit, you know, not nothing too major. But what we're looking to do is once the shield runs out, then at that point we're just going to go all out and just burst uh, Hogback, <laughs> Hogback, not Moria, uh, burst Hogback to 0 HP. So there it is, the shield is gone, go ahead and use the Mary now that the shield is gone, go ahead and use Rayleigh. I'm going to use the combo of Raikuyo and Baruj uh, to, uh, I, think, I think this will one-shot him, I'm not sure, I think it does one-shot him. Now hopefully we can take out some of the guys in the back. Now Rouge, uh, for those who remember, will deal damage to one unit, so I target the guy in the back. And then it will also boost all my impacts by 1.5. So Rekuyo and Rouge uh, both boost. It actually does not one-shot him, which was kind of disappointing. But, as you'll see, it's still fine. Um, he just enrages again, and uh, uses this for that yellow orb, and boom, there you go. So. Uh, just a pretty simple team, you know, pretty simple Rayleigh team uh, with, you know, pretty simple units. Now, this is not simple. This is not a simple fight. Kaku, he will have a shield that you have to hit five grates in a row before you can damage him. So, on the fifth grate, it will deal damage, and then the next hit, you want to try to hit perfect. So, as you see here, I brought Jozu. I'm going to go ahead and use Jozu, uh, because he will deal about, I think, uh, he deals a lot of damage. So, just go ahead and use Jozu. Uh, tank that hit, as you'll see here. And then, uh... Try to get as much damage as you can see. I haven't even used any specials, and I'm already like he's already around 50%. So, you know, but you'll see it doesn't matter. Like, okay, so once uh, my boa is ready, uh, we're gonna use a combination of boa for the chain boost. We're gonna use Luffy, Strong World Luffy, for the type boost, and Dofi for the orb boost. And this is gonna give us a massive amounts of damage. I believe that Kaku probably only has around a million HP. So, this boost will probably one-shot him anyways, <laughs> which you'll see here. So, boom, there you go. So now we have the chain, the chain not the multiplier, but the chain increase. Hit all grades, and then on the last one you want to hit a perfect, and boom, there you go. So, it's a tough one, but if you, this is a pretty simple team, other than Boa. You don't even need Boa, as you see. So, there you go. Now it's time for the next one. Frankie, you now <laughs> Frankie's really annoying. He'll swap your orbs every single turn. And uh, he'll never really give you blue orbs. So the trick is to just bring as many orb converters as you can and try to take them out as quickly as possible. Now, thankfully, I did get that boa during the last Seagull Fest. So this team is pretty ridiculous. But, uh, you know, boa is not really that necessary. Now, go ahead and use a uh, full burst here. Uh, Kuma, uh, Marco, and Eno to go ahead and do a massive amount of damage. And go ahead and uh, I didn't know how much this damage this would do, so I went ahead and delayed him. Uh, in case it would do too much damage. And uh, I'll, you see I brought a Boa Friend Captain as well, so that if I do take a hit, I can always recover a little bit more and then delay Frankie one more turn. So this is where the story mode uh, 
Rablucci is really nice because as you'll see here, I'm gonna try to get him as close to 20%, take you know a basic hit and then Boa back up to full and uh, Rob Lucci to give me the full orbs. Uh, in case you guys don't know, I, think, I believe there's a 1.5 orb boost uh, at all times during this fight, so that's why I'm doing a lot of damage. And uh, yeah, with this I should be able to take him out. I do have two turns as you see, so having two Boas is actually very OP. So that I finally got my Boa. It's, uh, it's gonna make running things like this a lot easier. So you see that I didn't defeat him, but like I said, because of the Boa special, I should have just enough damage here to uh, take him out. And there you go. Ah, <sighs> okay, here is a tall one, man. Again, these are always the toughest ones. <laughs> so again, we have to face Frank in the first room. So I went ahead and brought a Stronghold Days team, and this team is really close. But as you see here, first off, I'm gonna use Kuma from the raid to change all my things to bother orbs. I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, Stronghold Usab on because it's a blue shooter, uh, does 10% and will allow me to not get hit for one turn. Uh, and I'm gonna do as much damage as I can. This should do over 50%. So you, the important part is that you do over 50% here uh, if you're, all your units are maxed. And then uh, you're gonna have a free turn of attack here, so just attack normally. If you get a purple orb of Zephyr, it's really nice, but as you see here, I don't really need it. And um, the next turn, we're gonna use Capone to change the, those two orbs to blue, and that should take him out. Um, yeah, the, <laughs> if you get him below 20, he will do a lot of damage, but uh, thankfully you have a lot of HP. So you see here, I pretty much will leave with almost full HP with this. Uh, I only take one hit from Frankie, and that's going to be really important in the next room, because in the next room, we're going to need to look for a green orb on your strong days. You'll have um, two turns to look for a green orb, but if you have enough HP, you can actually um, do it for three turns. So uh, I recommend, like I said, um, trying to be as have as much HP going into this as possible. So Vista, here we go. So the first two turns, we're just gonna do, well, like I said, just search for those green orbs on Ace. That's the most important thing. You can't really do that much damage anyways because of his uh, defense buff, and uh, you can't uh, delay him as well. So uh, there we go, uh, Vista. Gets rid of the turn delay and, and the defense buff. Unfortunately, I didn't get the green orb, but like I said, I have just enough HP to tank a hit uh, in the future. So there we go, we got the green orb now, and we're gonna go ahead and use uh, Strong World Ace plus Zephyr. So if you see, if I had the green orb last turn, I would be able to do this combo without taking any damage, but like I said, like I have an extra turn there. So Strong World Ace plus Zephyr, uh, you know, make sure to lock the orb. And uh, if you if you really can afford to lock the orb, you can YOLO it. Try to get another green orb next turn. But it, uh, there we go. We just barely lived that. And boom, Vista without a gem. There we go. That's close. So <laughs> hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, these coliseums, in my opinion, are the most uh, enjoyable part of the game. So, you know, right now, and they're a lot of fun. They're just <laughs> they can be very frustrating at times. But once you do clear it, like I did there. It feels very satisfying. So, before I want to, before I leave, let's talk about Vista for a little bit. Now, looking at Vista, he's going to be a very interesting unit for sure, just because he has that treble ability where uh, slashers gain 2.25 boost, but tandem and meat orbs are counted as uh, positive orbs or advantageous orbs. So, uh, you know, this could definitely be a useful captain in future Fortnite's, just like treble was a nice captain for. Uh, one of the Komodo Fortnites or something, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, so that's very interesting and not bad at all. And then the uh, the special is very interesting as well because it deals you know quick damage a little bit to one enemy. But the bottom two units are changed to matching orb. So potentially this could see a lot of play, especially in rainbow teams where um, you know you need you need that blue attacker, but then you have these the characters at the bottom that you know need a different color orb or whatever. Um, could be very very interesting. So. Um, you know, it starts at 22 turns, these Coliseums tend to need 12 skill-ups, it could go down to 10 turns, it could be very, very good down the road. So with that said, guys, let me know what you guys think about it, hopefully this guide helped. Make sure to check out the Poly Coliseum if you haven't checked that one out, or any of the other Coliseums I've done in the past. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.